In this chapter, we're going to look at the electronic structure of atoms. And a lot of what we know about the electronic structure of atoms comes from an analysis of how light is absorbed or emitted by different substances. So we're going to look at light first. So this is the electromagnetic spectrum, which is you know, all, electro, all electromagnetic radiation travels at the speed of light, which is 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. This is a constant. I'm going to I'll give you the speed of light when we need it. Um, if you want to round it up to one sig fig, it's 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Usually we'll see it with um, all these significant figures. But on the electromagnetic spectrum, you have gamma rays, x-rays. Here's the visible region. That's 400 to you know, 750 nanometers. Um, so these are all the different colors that we see. You also have infrared, microwave, radio frequencies. Um, they all have different wavelengths. So what do we mean by a wavelength? So wavelength is the distance between um, corresponding points on adjacent waves. So if we look at a wave in this picture here, the wavelength is from like the peak to the peak, or you can measure it from trough to trough. It's the distance between those two points. Uh, another way to, to characterize a uh, wave, you look at the frequency. Frequency is you know, how many times, if, if you think about a wave, like you're at the beach and the wave is hitting the dock, how many times it hits the dock and, um, in a certain amount of time, that's the frequency. That's like, yep, so the higher the frequency, um, the longer, um, sorry, the, they're inversely proportional. So they are related to each other. Uh, frequency is C over lambda. So what's new C over lambda? Um, look at these symbols. So if you're thinking, oh, that looks like Greek, this is totally Greek. So wavelength is lambda and frequency is new. And then C is the speed of light over here, which is a constant. So if you know frequency, you know the wavelength. If you know the wavelength, then you know the frequency. So you should be able to uh, convert between the two. So let's let's practice doing that in, in one of these problems here. So you're going to know, you need to know this equation. What's new C over lambda? Be able to rearrange this. Right, so what's new? C over lambda. So if you want to rearrange this, you know, new times lambda. So if I multiply them both by lambda, it gives me C. Or if I wanted to solve for lambda, I would just divide both sides by new. And I get lambda is equal to C over new. Um, sure, we have all those equations. So let's see how we can apply this. So you have a laser using eye surgery, uh, produces a wavelength right here. I calculate the frequency of this radiation. So wavelength is lambda, right? So they're giving us lambda. They're saying lambda is 6.400 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. And we always know C. It's 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And what we're looking for is new, and that's going to be new in seconds. So what's new? C over lambda. C is 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by um, lambda, which is 6.400 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. So your meters are going to cancel, and you're going to end up with something in 1 over seconds. 1 over seconds is frequency. Another unit for that is going to be the hertz, HZ hertz. So when you work all this out, You get let's see four point six eight four times ten to the positive fourteen, and your units again are one over seconds or seconds to the negative one or hertz. All three of those mean exactly the same thing, so you should be familiar with all of them. So let's try another one. Um, you have an FM radio station broadcasting radio, uh, radio electromagnetic radiation at a frequency of 103.4 megahertz. And they give you the conversion for megahertz because that's not one that I asked you to memorize, but 1 megahertz is 10 to the 6. Um, yep, 1 times 10 to the 6. Calculate the wavelength. So this time they're giving you frequency. So the frequency is 103.4 megahertz. Let's go ahead and convert that just to hertz. That way our units will be fine when we have uh, when we bring the speed of light in here. Um, so we have 1 megahertz 
is you know 10 to the 6 seconds to the negative 1. So you end up with what 1.034 times 10 to the 8 seconds to the negative 1. That's your frequency. And we want to find lambda. So what's new? C over lambda. What's lambda? C over new. So C is the speed of light. That's the 2.998 uh, times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by frequency 1.034 times 10 to the 8. 1 over seconds or seconds to the negative 1. So those units are going to cancel and you're going to end up with um, meters, which is great because that's what we were looking for, a length, 2.99 meters. Great, so be able to convert between those two things. What's new? C over lambda. C is a constant. New is the frequency. Lambda is the wave.